Hi everybody, today we are going to discuss bleeding disorders and the major or the first topic in bleeding disorders is platelet dysfunction. So if we need to classify platelet dysfunction, we can classify platelet according whether there is there is a problem in the number of platelet, that's mean, let us say now, decreased number of platelet, or we have problem in the function of the platelet. On the right side, you will see problem in the function of the platelet, that's mean here there is no problem in the number. If we are going further, to these classifications, we can say first what what the mechanisms for decreased number. We you can have problem with production of platelet, okay, or you can have problem in destruction. And the final issue is a defect in sequestration or more sequestration of platelet. So first production problem like bone marrow. So it is, it is bone marrow problem actually, like leukemia or plastic anemia, plastic anemia. Destructive problem can be due to non-immune type, immune type, okay. Immune type, famous example is ITP, is a frankly or simply is a kind of antibodies directly against platelet to platelet destruction. A non-immune type, it is TTP. And other mechanism, which is the same as destruction, it is HIT. The, the example here is HIT, I mean hyperindrous thrombocytopenia. And about sequestration of platelet in case of splenomegaly in portal, splenomegaly in portal hypertension, portal hypertension, although there will be a decrease in the number of platelets. Okay, the other category is the function. The function of a platelet could be defective in two important or two significant uh, also categories or classifications. We can talk about congenital functional problem or acquired functional problem. Okay. Congenital functional problem, we have von Willebrand disease, we have Bernard Solier syndrome, and we have Klansman. Sorry, Klansman's disease. In case of acquire, we have non steroidal inflammatory drugs, and more important is aspirin. And also, we have renal failure. Uh, also, also, we have renal failure um, example. Okay, guys, now you finish all of these categories. Now you almost have 10. Can you tell me what all of these categories share off? I mean, the common feature. I can tell you first. Regarding symptoms, all of these leading to what? Bleeding. Yes? Yes. Try to focus on common features first. Bleeding. Can you tell me more about bleeding? It is superficial. Okay. It is easily bruising. Okay. Bruise, bruises. Uh, Echemosis. PTKI. Epistaxis, mucosal, okay, epistaxis, mucosal, vaginal bleeding. That's it. So now if I'm asking you, can you tell me anything about von Willebrand disease? You can say von Willebrand disease is a problem with the function of a platelet. The number of platelet is the same and is bleeding, superficial, easily bruising, incomosis, extra. Can you tell me more about ITP? It is destruction, immune kind of destruction, decreased number of platelet, and bleeding, superficial, extra. And how about the lab test? BT increase, number the same, and number decrease. So how about ITP number decrease in case of vulnerable disease number normal? And for all of these things, PT increase. 